Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan, and I'm here at the Gross Reservoir just outside Boulder, Colorado, enjoying these beautiful views, doing some work here at this picnic table. I've got my dog under the bench, and I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about this photo backpack that I've been using for the last two months from Ethnotech called the Raja Photo Backpack. I love this thing. It's fantastic for my day adventures as well as professionally I do a lot of media capture and I've been able to take this thing on site to events and it totally takes care of everything that I could need during any kind of photo or video capture shoot that I'm on. So I love it because it's very functional for the outdoors as well as for my professional life and I just thought I'd take a couple minutes to tell you why I really like this bag and some of the things that um, I think you'll really appreciate. So for starters, there's a lot of buckles around the outside here. And what I've been using these outside buckles for is my tripod that my camera's on right now. This is a perfect place for it because it evenly distributes the weight, but you could easily put it somewhere around the outside like I have here where my water bottle is right now. There's this stretchy elastic material so you could put two of the legs in there. He'd be totally fine. Um, and there's also buckles around the sides, so I'm using some right now. I've got this for my dog's water bowl, and on the other side I've got a towel clipped um, because I'm going to go swimming later. So there's a lot of ways to like attach things and make the outside your own, and that includes this outer cover. This is the Raja cover, so I think that's why it's called the Raja Photo Backpack. One of the things about Ethnotech is they make these things called threads that go on the outside and you're supposed to be able on their other bags to be able to like pick the patterns they have and match it to whatever you like most. It easily comes off when you clip the outer buckles away like that. And this has its own pocket on the outside for like quick access to things. So I've been putting like a lot of snacks and stuff in here. Um, but once you get away from this skin, you'll also notice this is where you can access to the bag. And this is fantastic. I've got my um, hammock in here right now. But this is some compartments that it comes with. So you can, I only have one of the two things of compartments in here right now. Completely removable, readjustable, and some of them even have this really awesome zipper pouch on them. So you can put things like memory cards or a pair of keys or anything that could be like valuable or could scratch against other stuff, kind of like hidden away as well as protected. All of this is very well padded. Even the dividers are very well padded. If I took a bale on the trail wearing this thing, all of the stuff inside it would be totally fine. Um, I don't know about myself, but I'd be really happy with the padding that's coming in here. Then if like all of this space isn't enough, this top rolls away when you don't need it, but it's nice that this is like some extra storage space up at the top. And it is divided with this um, cinch strap. So if you wanted to put things up here that aren't meant to in any way mix with the things in the normal compartment, you're totally fine. So I really like that all of these pouches exist. So. This one's nice, clear, and see-through, um, so you can easily access whatever's inside, uh, but it's also like dust and weatherproof, so it's really nice because you can keep things and know that they're safe in there. And then, this is hard to see, but on the inside of this, there's little partitions, so you could put um, really small things in three of these compartments here, maybe like some different mounts for your tripod or for your helmets or um, memory cards or cleaning supplies for your camera. Um, everything can go in some kind of compartment into its own little place, which I really like knowing where everything is. Um, and then the other thing is, I really, 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 really like this feature. So you're wearing the backpack and let's say you're shooting with your camera and you want to like quickly change lenses there's this pocket on the side here so when you unzip it you access 
that inner cavity again. And the way I have it set up is I would have like another lens like right here so I can easily make those changes. But then I also have access to this other side pocket here, which is like the other one. It's uh, weatherproof, it's clear and smooth, so I know it's in here, and it has three divisions in here for smaller things. So again, really nice and easy access. Maybe I run out of memory card space. Easy to swap that. And then on the other side, on the outside here, you've got this stretchy spot. That's great for like a water bottle. Um, or other small tripods and then on the inside what you've got is like a place that's uh, maybe for notes maybe for a journal but a miscellaneous pocket um, because it doesn't come out too far but still it's a nice thing to be able to quick access on the side for different things and keep them away um, it doesn't rain a lot here in Colorado but if it does it comes like for a period of time and then it usually goes away. So what I love is they've got this little umbrella logo here. They've built in a rain fly for this. So if it does get bad, I just need to put this over the bag like so and continue hiking as per norm. So that's really nice. I have been caught in the rain in this. It's great for like getting back to your car and it is going to provide that protection. I mean, you're investing in a really nice, well padded, protected bag for all of your really expensive camera supplies. It's nice that if you get caught in the rain, you're not also worried about it getting wet. So I like that, that it's included. Great. Um, and then on the outside, but on the inside, the back, they've got this pocket, which I am a big fan of. This is like a three-quarter zip pocket padded on both sides and this is where I have my laptop. So I can sit here, do some blogging, do some work right here at the picnic table. This is padded and protected. Um, it goes against my back. If I'm walking through um, some areas, some villages with this on, I usually want my most valuable thing, my computer, my camera like protected so it's nice that this is against the bag people can't get at it and um, it's a big sleeve it, it can hold a big laptop in there so big fan of that as well so I mean as you make your way around the bag there's lots of features lots of pockets lots of straps lots of ways that you can customize this for yourself but it doesn't matter at all if the bag isn't well protecting your things and from using this in the field for work and in nature while I take some photos. I'm very confident that this thing keeps my things well protected. I love the partitions. I love that you can uh, take them out completely, divide them around, and they have that little zipper thing for like smaller things. That's great too. So also one of the things I wanted to mention before I let you go is we've got um, some things here on the outside that are worth mentioning. So. First of all, there's these really well padded shoulder straps. So when this bag gets heavy and fully loaded, I've got a little bit of reprieve on my shoulders. That is also helped with this sternum strap and it's adjustable as well. Um, so I like that it takes a lot of the weight off of my back. I do recommend if you're going for longer hikes or if you're gonna have this on your back for a while, you can buy an optional hip belt that slides through the back of this and then will distribute some of the weight onto your hips. That's not all, it also has some pockets. So I do recommend checking that out. Um, it slides through the bag like this and then comes around and attaches so you're set. And um, also there's this little loop here that you can put like sunglasses through. So, um, there's a lot of really neat things about this backpack that I'm a big fan of. So, great job Ethnotech. I'm a big fan of what you've done. Thank you for the opportunity to test this and uh, also to the dirt for hooking this up through the Ranger program. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the video. You can check out the full review at SeriousCamper.com. Thanks for watching.